welcome back to Everyday Blessings. Of course, as soon as I start, I'm sitting in a parking lot and people are getting into their car next to me. Huh? Word. Anyway, welcome back and welcome to Vlogtober. I'm trying to do Vlogtober. I've been asked by a couple of people to join in and I don't know, um, we'll see how this goes. There's a reason that I don't vlog every day because like I'm busy and um, life is crazy. So I guess you're just gonna see the busy and the crazy. And I don't really think that it's all that exciting. Like, I don't, I don't know. Well, I guess that's up to you. I don't know. Anyway, I did have something that was on my mind that I kind of wanted to open up for discussion in the comments down below. <sighs> all right, if you have tiny ears around, go ahead and pause this and come back to it later when you're only around adults. Okay. I think I've given you enough time to pause and come back. <sighs> There's something bugging me, okay? Santa, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, other mythical creatures, people, things. I don't know, some people do like leprechauns around St. Patrick's Day. Um, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. And I don't know, thankfully my kids are not super into the whole Santa thing. They're kind of freaked out by it, which I mean, I was. I think the last time we went to go and see Santa, Leanne was a newborn and she's going to be five. Um, Cullen didn't like it at all. He was just like, what, why do you want me to sit on this goofy guy's lap? Um, that, that's weird. Go sit on this stranger's lap. Like you don't get you don't get a background check when you go see Santa, right? Like anybody could be in there, the Easter bunny and all that. Yeah. But aside from that, aside from the weird factor of going and sitting on a stranger's lap so that your parents and relatives can have pictures of you with Santa. Aside from that, why are we encouraging our kids to have a childlike faith in mystical people, things, bunnies, Santa, you know, why are we encouraging our kids to believe in Santa and the Easter Bunny when they're going to grow up and realize that those things are not real? We're encouraging them to have a childlike faith in these things and then it just seems logical to me that you would grow up realize whoa this thing that I believed in that I could not see that I could not like I believed that this was real and it ended up not being true so I'm gonna put God in that same category so I just spit. So I just, I don't get it. I don't, I'm not saying that if you take your kids to see Santa, they're going to end up not believing in God, but I'm saying, just think about it. Like think about it from a child's perspective. Why do we do that? I, I mean, I did. I believed in Santa. I believed in the Easter Bunny. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember believing in the Tooth Fairy, but I probably did. 
And I remember finding out, I remember asking my mom about Santa and she was like, we were outside. It wasn't even close to Christmas because she was gardening. We were outside and I said, I have a very important question to ask you. And she said, okay. And I said, I already know the truth. So I don't want you to lie to me because I was that kid. And she said, sure. What's your question? And I said, I know Santa's not real, but I didn't. Like secretly I wanted her to say, no, Santa is real. And she said, yeah, you're right. It's something fun that parents do for their kids. And I just remember thinking like, whoa, okay. It's not fun anymore. <laughs> Like, and then it kind of spiraled into like, okay, well now Santa's not real. Tooth Fairy's not real. Easter Bunny, not real. So God, hmm, potentially not real. So I know, I understand that there are a whole lot of feelings and opinions on children and Santa and the Easter Bunny and all of that, but... I don't like it. I haven't just out and said to my kids, like, I mean, they're young, they're innocent. They're, uh, I haven't just gone and said, you know what, you know that Santa, that's malarkey and that Easter bunny, it's nonsense. I haven't done that, but I don't make it like, oh, Santa's coming. Like, I, I just don't. I, I don't like you go out. You, you better be good because Santa's coming. And if you're not good, like, mm, that's, I don't do that with my kids for Christmas. I don't think that's the point. I, I know that's not the point, but I, I don't want them to think that that's the point. We still do gifts and stuff, but we don't make it about Santa. I think Christmas is not about Santa. It just bothers me that we just fall into this um, tradition of idling Santa and ooh, let's have our kids believe in this and when they find out that it's not real, still expect them to believe in Christ something, you know, you can't see Christ, you can't, you know, all of this, all of this stuff. I just think it's setting your kids up for confusion, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know. It confused me. So maybe that's just me. I have been told that I was a child that tended to overthink and overanalyze everything. And I still do. So maybe it's just me. I don't know. But leave your opinion in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your take on Santa and the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy. The Tooth Fairy, I'm not going to lie. I mean, they all kind of freaked me out as a kid because I was just a very anxious child and I did not like the idea of somebody walking around my house in the middle of the night leaving stuff like checking on me when I was sleeping. Like I didn't like it, but the tooth fairy especially freaked me out because I didn't, I didn't want like a little fairy that close to me while I was sleeping and like reaching under my pillow and me not waking up and taking my teeth. Why? 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 It's not like every time we get a haircut, we put our hair, like ha hang our hair from the bedpost and have the hair fairy come and pick it up. Like, why? Why do we do that with teeth? Why? I, I'm going to have to like research that a little bit because it's just if you know why, where the whole tooth fairy thing came from, leave that down in the comments too, because I'm genuinely curious why that's a thing. Um, and last thing, 
A couple people have asked me if either one of my son's two bikes that were stolen have been recovered, and no. No, neither one have. Um, if you missed that video, I'll link it up here. Um, but no, neither one of those bikes have been recovered. Um, but it's been pretty quiet since then, so we did install cameras and... Um, what are those called when you walk by them and they spotlights motion lights motion lights um so i don't know but it's been quiet on the home front as far as that goes so that's good all right guys well please um yeah aid me in my curiosity and let me know what the tooth fairy is all about and where that came from and I will see you tomorrow because, you know, Vlogtober. I don't know what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. I really don't have lots of things to talk about. Mr. Rogers had lots of things to talk about. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, have a blessed day.